Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadget here. As you can see in front of me, I have my iPad, which I thoroughly enjoy using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through um, one, two, three, four different Office programs for the iPad. Uh, just kind of a more of a quick overview. I won't go into s serious depth. Uh, I'll cover some of this uh, in more detail in my article. And in the future, I'll probably go into even more detail with some of these applications. Um, currently, the top, uh, the very first one was actually the iWork suite, which is Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. Um, and then I saw Office 2 HD released, which has gone through a couple iterations to make it a quite a good application. Uh, and then I saw Docs to Go released, and now lately uh, Quick Office HD. So I'm going to run you through uh, each of these applications because none of them come with a trial version. So uh, they range in price. I believe Office 2 HD is $7.99 up to as high as uh, $9.99 for each of the three modules in the iWork suite, which could be expensive. So um, let me give you a, a view of each one, and uh, then I'll discuss which one is my favorite. So this is Pages, which is the, um, let me go to my documents, which is the word processor. I'll go ahead and just say tap to start get started. Now one thing that you'll see, if I wanted to uh, Go back here to my documents real quick. If I wanted to create one, I would tap plus and say new document or duplicate document. And uh, as you can see, when you tap new, there's options for um, a bunch of different um, great templates, as you can see. And you could pull something like a um, visual report, a syllabus, a term paper. Okay, so we'll start with a term paper. And here you go. You can see that the term paper comes up. Um, if you wanted to move around an image, the nice thing is everything is very visual, so you just pull it down, it moves it around. You can tap on here and add different photos to it. Um, if we tap up here, we get full screen. Tap on the toolbar, you see there's some other setups, guides, check the spelling. Here we have things to insert, right? We have chart, we have media, as I showed, photos. We have tables we can insert. As you can see at the bottom, there's little um, icons to show me there's multiple pages and multiple formats. Charts that we can insert. Tap on one there. And there we go. And then we can manipulate the data. There we go. In the table. Very easy, very visual. It's actually a real pleasure to use uh, this application. There's shapes that you can enter. So everything is very visual, and it actually makes it uh, kind of a pleasure to really, I mean, this is not something you would consider, you know, with a, a Word document and things like that. That was, a, it was, you know, kind of tedious, but this is very easy to use. Now if I tap on the Word area, whoops, that's too many taps. So if I tap on the area where there's words, we see that kind of the toolbar shows up, right? We've got a ruler up top, we've got the body, bold, italics underline the different alignments, um, some of those other editing features that we can uh, mess around with. If we were to tap on a word, we can copy and paste. I'll paste right there. Select all, copy style, paste, things like that. So there's a few options. It's, it's a fairly basic editor, but there are, uh, excuse me up here, alignments, columns, list, layout. Pretty much has everything you need uh, to get started. Now the one downside, I mean, very visual, enjoyable. I like uh, I like the iWork iPages. Um, however, when you get done with the document, right, you can uh, let's see where is the there's a the document setup. Let me go back to my documents. So if you're done with the doc, you want to get send it, you send it via email, share via iWork, or export. Now if you say export, you have a choice of pages, PDF, and Word. So it's great in pages. You can actually um, get Word documents in and out. It's not a problem. Now if we jump into numbers, this is the spreadsheet application. Jump back to my spreadsheets for a second here. If we wanted to share those. We can send via email, share via iWork, or export. And you export these as PDF or numbers. There's no export to Excel. So there's a little bit of limits uh, in and out with some of these things. But again, have you ever seen a spreadsheet program like this? I mean, this is fantastic. You could take a chart. You can move it over here. 
move it over there, wherever you want in your in your table, right? You can double click on it, tap or drag to any one you want. Alright. Very nice visuals. There's a bunch of different uh, worksheets as you can see there. Again, you can tap the tools, the edge guides, insert things, tables, charts, shapes, again, media. Go up here. Let's see, we get into a cell, say info. We've got table, headers, cells, formatting the cells, all kinds of things, right? How about a basic function? There we go. We wanted to enter a function, right? So we say equals, and then there we go. A bunch of functions pop up. I mean, this is very, very intuitive and nice and easy to use. I just wish there was export to Excel documents. I, I don't personally use iWork Suite on my computers, and I just want the Excel support. Again, nice uh, formats, nice layouts, very pleasurable to use. This is Keynote. I never really work with PowerPoint on my devices, so Keynotes, I, I bought it just to try it out. It's usually um, placed in the back of my uh, iPad. Now if we say play, there we go, we can play the presentation, tap away, and it will, you know, you can give the presentation right on your device. Tools again are the same, find, help, guides, things like that. We've got some tap or slide, so we can actually move the objects around. Again, we have media, tables, charts, shapes, a bunch of different things you can insert. If you go into, uh, say, like your fonts, cut, copy, paste, right? You can work with the fonts. And uh, nice and easy to use, all right? Again, you can, well, this is the tutorial itself right there. So you could go through this and see all the different easy functions to use for your presentations, which I don't use. So then the uh, the first other Office Suite I found was Office 2 HD, which will do um, Word and Excel files, no PowerPoint. So this is uh, this is its interface. As you can see here, everything's controlled by a menu on the left side, and uh, there is no cloud support. You can create new folders. You can say plus, and you can select either a document or a workbook. Let's say document, just to show you what that looks like. This is just a test. Steam. Okay. So here we go. And then you can see here, everything here is much smaller, not so finger friendly and useful. However, it does has all the essentials, right? He's got our font types, font sizes, our alignments. We scroll over to the right, you see there's more. There's left and right alignments. We see we can insert, uh, create a table, we can insert photos. So not quite as uh, polished as the iWork suite. However, it does, uh, does have some functionality and get use, gets uh, quite useful. I can't find a way to hide this in landscape mode, so we have this quite large area over here that I haven't found. If we set plus and workbook, we can see this is what uh, test workbook. And we can see this will be a spreadsheet, default spreadsheet to work with. Again, Here's the buttons for manipulating the data. Um, we've got functions. Oops, we've got functions right here. Choose our functions. We got summations. No charts that I could find in uh, in this application here. It does have alignments and all your basic functions. And as you can see, there's multiple sheet support. You can name your sheets and move things around. So, a fairly basic application. I believe this is $7.99, so if you just need to get some basic Word and Excel editing done, this is a fine application. Has come a long ways uh, since it was first released. And then another one that I uh, also purchased was Documents to Go. I was pretty excited to see this one launch. Uh, it does have uh, support for desktop files um, via uh, the same Wi-Fi connection with your desktop. Uh, we also have support for cloud files, right? So you can, uh, let me see. Go to the tools here, add a new account. So you can see here we have Google Docs, Box.net, Dropbox, SugarSync. So there's quite a few cloud, uh, cloud formats to support. And then you can add a new desktop as well. So in here we can tap on the plus. Then you, as you can see, you can create a Word document, Excel, PowerPoint, or an email with attachments. So let's just take a look at the interface here. So here's a new Word document. Again, this one actually is very similar to the Office 2 HD, the toolbar, 
is it down here at the bottom rather than up top. And you can see there's uh, buttons for full screen and half screen. Um, tap on there, open up the keyboard, we've got our alignments, we've got our bullets, we've got our paragraphs, alignments, things like that. And these are like buttons that expand as you can see for font size is bold. So you tap on the main uh, letter, or the main icon, excuse me, and then you see more of uh, word count, paragraphs, things like that. Again, not quite as flashy, but this one will do Word and Excel in and out. So then we go to Excel. Here's an Excel spreadsheet. I can zoom in and out of it. Our pinch and zoom is supported, as you can see. And again, everything's down at the bottom. There's quite a few options and functions and things like that. If we're in a cell here, whoops. Too quick on the fingers there. Oh. As you can see, not quite as finger friendly, right? So one thing I found was, keep on tapping on, there we go, there's the function. So we see there's functions that you can enter right there and then uh, create your function that you want to create in there. I don't believe and I haven't been able to find any charting capability in this application. Same with Office HD. And it's real easy to, once you have a document, that you could, uh, there's the uh, one of the default ones, and you could say save, you could say email, there you go, you can send it out, not a problem. Documents to Go is actually what I use to finalize the, uh, the article I wrote for iPhone Life magazine, so it is quite powerful. And this was my favorite, primarily because of the Word and Excel and PowerPoint in and out with the standard formats, unlike iWork that didn't do that with all of the different types. And also the cloud file support. I mean, I was able to get uh, application or documents down from my cloud services. But then, just last week, QuickOffice HD launched. And this is not a uh, this is not a universal application like Docs to Go. This is a uh, application written and optimized just for the iPad. So um, Quick Office, Quick Office actually launched and has an interface that's completely different than what they have on uh, on their earlier versions. And as you can see here, this is the uh, one of their main new screens is the File Explorer that we see. And if we tap on the plus down here, you can see that it does support cl some cloud services, Google Docs, Dropbox, and Box.net. Um, doesn't have uh, SugarSync, um, Zumo Drive, and some other ones. Um, but these are some main ones that it does have support for, so that's nice to see that you can add. And then that would appear up here, the ones that I have. You see there's a send, if you wanted to send. And what's interesting is when you tap those, <clears throat> you actually can tap a document and hold it. And you see there's a trash to get rid of it, or email to email it. Or, if I wanted to tap on this, I could actually drag it over here to my cloud service. And what you'll see is it's it'll duplicate name. Okay, I'll say stop. But you can drag and drop on this interface between what's loaded on your iPad and between cloud services. So you can really manipulate and manage your documents on this uh, file manager that they have here, which is, which is quite neat to be able to grab documents uh, on the iPad and throw them up in your cloud uh, storage so easily with an intuitive interface like that. If we tap on the settings, we see that you can manage your file transfers, uh, some security stuff as well. Over here in the far right, we can manage and set up new folders and then manage our documents as I mentioned. You can also tap on the far right and choose to enter a spreadsheet of or a document in the two different formats or a text file. So let's, like we did before, jump to a document format. One thing I forgot to mention with Office 2 HD is uh, the earlier version did not support the latest Office um, XLS and uh, Docsis, um, DocX formats, and I don't know if the recent uh, upgrade did provide for that or not. But see, here we go. This is uh, 
quick office, right? And it's pretty basic. We see there's the primary ones, the bold, the in italic, and the underline. And then there's like, whoa, what else is on here? So if we tap this A button here, we can see there's the font size, font um, font type, font size. We see bold, italic, underline. We tap on paragraph. What's neat here is it says drag to horizontally align the paragraph. So you just click on this. You will move this around and you'll see your paragraphs line up, right? And then you can come down here and you can manage, as you can see, I just did some uh, bullets, alignments, tabs in and out, or you do just kind of a drag and drop thing there, which is very visual. Now if we have color, you can manage your highlight color, your font color, and so it doesn't have a ton of these different uh, styles and formats but it's interesting it's all up here in this uh, toolbox that they have paragraph as I said okay now if we go into uh, I'll say don't save we go in and we tap to create a spreadsheet here's a spreadsheet that you see um, we can have multiple tabs with the spreadsheet Again, there's your basic functions up top here, number formatting. If we go in here for a function, you can check your functions that you want to check, find a function, enter it in there, enter some arguments. Again, we tap up here on the right, our toolbox. Oh, let me get rid of that. Okay. So we tap on the right toolbox. Again, we've got the font management. We've got some alignment. Again, you can drag to align, and it is very visual as far as your alignment of your cell. You can take the wrap the text or not, choose your colors, fonts, and cell colors, and you can manage your borders as well. Again, a very visual toolbox there with your borders. And then we have also to be able to insert columns, delete columns, things like that. There are no uh, charting capabilities in this application and let me just take a look at a couple of the default ones that they showed just so you kind of see how, uh, how you might have a spreadsheet set up again pinch to zoom in and out scroll around sheet one sheet two close that let's go up here to a word doc there you go, here's a Word doc with some basic directions. As you can see, it is uh, more visual, kind of in line with the pages. However, it does support Word and Excel in and out. A little bit more capability that way. So this has actually become, uh, QuickOffice HD has become my new favorite, primarily because of uh, the Office support and it still has some of that Pages iPad visual look and feel to it. Now, I didn't try. Oh, that's the that's the that's the coolest way they they do the zoom. I forgot to show that. So if we're in here, we tap on that. It zooms in the whole page rather than having a zoom box, which is a bit different. Now, if I tap the image, can I drag that? I get the image isn't as easy as with pages. So that's that is a quick office HD. So that's a quick look at uh, the main office applications. Um, pages, as I said, and, and the iWork suite is very slick, very user friendly. It's just if you need Word and Excel and even PowerPoint in some cases in and out, that's really not the suite that's going to work for you. The round tripping is not that great. Uh, Docs to go has uh, support for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint in and out. That's probably your best for uh, round tripping of all types of document. Quick Office HD has that look and feel of the iWork suite with uh, Word and Excel support and not PowerPoint yet. However, I'm sure it's probably coming eventually. And then Office 2 HD is your low cost alternative that has Word and Excel. Uh, may not support the latest formats though. So a um, bunch of choices available and it's always great to see competition because every choice will just get better. Thanks for watching.